Welcome back to UGHRTV News, where we bring you the exclusive news around the world. The Cindy Foundation has organized a demonstration on the 8th of July 2024 in front of the United Nations in Geneva. The demonstration was aimed to raise awareness about the missing Cindy girl, Prija Kumari, who went missing on August 19, 2021. Prija Kumari was with her father, present at the Muharram festival. Her father owns a retail store and they were distributing water bottles to mourners at the festival and sweet sarbat. Her father went home quickly and returned to find his daughter missing. There were no mobile servers, no CCTV, and no public transportation. Her father reported her missing on 22nd of August. No clues have been found. The police have investigated extensively, detaining over a thousand people, conducting DNA tests on 22 individuals and searching 300 houses. Despite these efforts, almost three years have passed and Prija's parents, Raju Kumari and Vina Kumari, continue their search. The tragic disappearance of Prija Kumari is not an isolated incident within the Sindhi community in Pakistan. It highlights a distressing and ongoing pattern of enforced disappearance that predominantly target young girls and women from minority communities, especially Hindus. These disappearances are often followed by cases of forced conversions and marriages, where victims are coerced into abandoning their faith and entering marriages against their will. This practice not only violates basic human rights, but also disrupts the lives of countless individuals and their families, leaving a deep scar on the community's social fabric. Prija Kumari's disappearance has struck a chord both domestically and internationally, serving as a grim reminder of the challenges faced by the Sindhi community. Global protests and advocacy efforts have been launched in Prija's name, demanding accountability and action from the Pakistani government. These protests highlight the urgent need for comprehensive investigations into her disappearance, alongside calls for her safe return to her family. Activists and human rights organizations around the world are urging Pakistan to adhere to international human rights norms and ensure the protection of minority groups within its borders. It has been three years, three long years, she has not been found yet. I hope she is alive and I hope she comes back to her mother and father. As a father, I would not... I would not hope that some, this kind of things will happen to anybody. So I request to the international community and then Pakistan officials to put a lot of efforts, efforts not just for the uh, media, but the true efforts to bring this little girl home. So I would request the government and the international community to put a lot of pressure on the police and the government of Pakistan to bring this girl home soon. Thank you. Free, free, Priya Kumari. Free, free, Priya Kumari. Free, free, Priya Kumari. This is the very important that we want to give the message to the United Nations. The time has come. You must send the international independent investigation team to find out the where Priya Kumari is. I want to now request to my friend uh, from the Sindh. He came especially last night. Uh, he himself was in was kidnapped uh, in during the General Zia's times and in youngest prisoner. How many years? 14 years was in the prison. And today he's going to speak about generally Priya Kumari and also especially Priya Kumari and generally about the situation of the same. Please. Thank you very much, Mr. Sufi Ligari. Today we are here for a little girl. When she was kidnapped, she was seven years old. 
and it's too long, three years, she's a capture from Poodle of the Seal. So where is the frame Priya Kumari? From three years. Why she's a kidnapped? What's the, what's the, uh, what's the uh, problem to not release? Because she's a Hindu. Because she's a, with, from poor family. And who kidnapped? They are very powerful. They are in uh, government. The Sindhi Foundation got support during the demonstration from different NGOs such as the Africa Culture International Human Rights. If you are wondering how you can help the Sindhi community by returning Prija Kumari back and the other girls in similar situations, you can write postcards or email messages to Pakistani authorities. Additionally, you can sign the petition.